much love today. Let's, uh, so let's see who's all here. What's up, Paul? Frank's here. How's it going? Well, I'll tell you what. You're in for a treat. Got a picture of my face up here. See that? That'd be kind of neat. That's a picture of my face. That's my that's my daughter's hand as she's uh, putting a, I think it's a French fry in my mouth. Um, yeah. So there's that. Um, I think it's pretty funny. That's my face. I wasn't very happy about it. So you can probably tell. I was like, um, hey, kid. So I'm trying to put things into my mouth. I don't like it. <laughs> your strong hand. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of it. Get the black cat up. There we go. All right, guys. So to this point, we uh, staggered a few wires um, using the loop method and uh, the spool tamer method. Um, then we prepped it today, which I just did, um, which is really the whole, the key to, the key to any build is the prep. Like anything else, honestly, is, um, is a result of the prep. So the two most, the, the fusing part of it, it can be difficult, but it's really kind of, uh, it really is kind of just like the byproduct of what you've already done. If you're, if your core, if your spacing is good. If your prep is good and the way that you have it set in your drill, the way you have it set up with your swivels and all that is good, then when you go to do the fuse, I mean, you'll probably have a little bit of, you know, you're going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, stuff you have to work through and figure out on the fly. But ultimately, I mean, it really should be the easiest part of the entire build. And, it, and for the most part, I mean, it shouldn't really even be that, that time consuming, in my opinion. I mean, um, like, I'm going to give myself, I, I don't know if I'll get it. I'm only doing one coil, which is what, like four inches? Really? You know what I mean? Really just like three inches with like half inch leads on either side. So, I mean, it's really not going to take that. So, it really shouldn't take that long. Um, I hope. At least I had it in the past. Who knows? It may. So, um, yeah. So, there's a... Uh, I mentioned in my other video, and uh, I did a video today about advocacy and uh, saving vaping, and I just wanted to touch with touch on it just for a second. Um, you know, nobody's going to nobody's going to save vaping. Like nobody's going to step in and do it. Like it's ultimately going to have to be done by the people who enjoy it, and the people who have used it to, to improve their lives, and uh, the people who have used it to, uh, you know, to quit smoking. I mean, they're the only people who are actually going to be the ones who step into this and help out. Um, and, and that's you. And that's me. And, you know, what you can do, you know, I'm not telling you if you don't have money, don't, you don't have to donate money. But there's things you can do. Get involved with some of the organizations that, uh, you know, CASA is one of them um, that you can look up. And there's all kinds of things on Instagram. I'll put some links into my uh, description of my videos. I'll start doing that, copying some links in for some places you can go. Um, but just pass that stuff on. You know, this is all about fun for me. Like literally I do this because it's fun. Like I don't do that. Yeah. Like I know, a I, I know about building and I know how to build and I, but there's other people who know more about building than I do. And you know, but I like doing this and as long as you guys like doing it and watching it, this is great. But honestly, if vaping goes away, what's the point of even doing this? You know what I mean? Then it just becomes some, something like a craft. I mean, it is crafting in a way. I call it a craft, coil building a craft. But like, if like all vaping is banned and like you know it's like outlawed and like kind of like a prohibition type thing, which ultimately we're not there yet. But I kind of see it going that way. I mean, that trust me, it, there there are people who don't want it to happen. People people want there are groups that want people to smoke. Believe it or not, they can say all the things they want, but they want you to smoke. Trust me. Because you make them a lot of money when you do smoke. And those people who want you to smoke have a freaking lot of money. So, yeah, you have to go to a vape sleep easy, right? So, I don't want to get on my soapbox because, you know, I, I know that's not what you're here for and it's boring or anything. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start uh, start fusing this up. Let me change this. Power, oh, that's right. I turn it down. Get my turn back up here. I'm loving these 2736 aliens. I, I, I'm I telling you, this is the best vape. It's better. I, like, I was a Fralian guy forever. It's better than Fralians. 
all Nichrome 90, 2736, a pair of them on it. I did a 0.25 or 25 millimeter uh, wrap, which uh, I typically do three, but I did point, uh, uh, 2.5 this time, and it it came out perfect. I mean, it's at like one, it's at like 0.13, um, and it's just the perfect vape. Like I am absolutely loving. It. I don't. I honestly think I'm going to stick with these for a while. And I had been like forever. I had been. Uh, I had only been vaping ribbon or you know anything with ribbon in it. So switching over to just round wire build is like I didn't think I would like it. I fucking love it. It is fantastic. I remember somebody telling me a long time ago that 27 uh, 27 cores for aliens were the, was the best, and I didn't really believe them. Well, they're right. So okay, so. When I do this here, I'm going to see if I can see it without the light on. If I have to turn the light on, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my spool here in a bag. I've got it wrapped. I've got it tied to my thing, to my cores. I'm going to take that bag. I'm going to close it just about halfway. I'm going to set that bag on my build table here. I'm going to give myself just a little bit of room. Now, why I do that is I give myself a little bit of room. When it starts to tighten up, I stop. And when I stop, it reminds me to do something. And what it reminds me to do is to pinch it with my nylon pliers. So that's why I do it that way. I give myself maybe like four inches of slack with the, with the fuse wire. When it starts to get tight again, it's my reminder to do this. Because you've got to do it all the way down or it will try to bunch together. You've got to make sure that you keep your build clean. All right, so let me grab my glasses here. I don't know if I have a light on these things still or not. I do, but it's not very bright. So let's give this a shot, see how it goes. I can see it. I think. Push these down a little bit. Well, it's, it sure is dark. Now, on the uh, on the fuse, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold your fuse wire straight down. Okay? Isn't it funny when you look at it? Hey! What up? I think it's the funniest thing ever. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining. Paul, I think I said, hey, and I see Frank. Um, you're going to hold your fuse wire at a 90-degree angle. Um, and I'm going to have to move this in. I'm sorry, guys. What I'll do, I'm going to take the background off. So let me just remove the chrome key. Give me one second. And that way, you'll just see a green ball, but whatever. Take this off. There we go. All right, so that probably looks a little bit better. You don't have all the crazy stuff. That's my green screen behind me. Pretty cool, right? See, that's all my stuff in the corner there. Like, I gotta get that fixed. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that sometime. Hopefully soon. All right, so grip this over here so I can see it. All right, pull this nice and tight. Hold your uh, fuse wire at a 90 degree angle right below it. Get it started here. I'm just gonna walk it down the wire. Once you get it going, okay, so once you get it going, um, make sure you hold it until you see it start. What it'll do, hey, what's up there? What's up, Tommy? How you doing, man? I don't think notifications went out because no, I don't know how many people are in here. There's like five people. But you guys are going to see some really great fusing. That's what you're going to see. So I'm gonna do. But one thing you'll notice is when you're fusing it, um, when you get the angle correct, just hold that angle, right? Hold it straight down, hold the angle. You'll notice when it starts clipping on the back side of the fuse, you know you just wanna move your hand just a little bit further out. Then when it stops clipping that side again, then you know you got your angle, hold it again. You can go a lot faster. There's my wife, she joined. So she's here. I want to do a notification. I, I, my, my wife had to run to the Kroger. To go get her some fish seasoning because apparently I did not get the right fish seasoning. She was not happy about that at all. And uh, we're having fish tonight. So pretty happy about that. What's up, Easy Rider? How you doing, man? All right, so let me get back to fusing this. Hi, honey. You should have just missed it. I had a picture of myself up behind me. All right, so let's get this going here.
pinch it together. Now, once it starts getting tight, as my reminder, to pinch it together and keep it nice and flat. If you've ever vaped stagger builds, it's a fantastic vape. Like I've got a nice, uh, I've got a nice uh, single coil Addy. I got a couple of them. I got like an O Addy. I have um, a Phoenix, the Resurrection Two, that are both squonking Addies. And it is, I'm telling you, man. Like if you do a four core, um, say you do like all Nichrome, and uh, you do a four core. Hey Nick, how you doing? We all love your your geek headband. We love the geek headband. Geek headband, I don't know. Geek husband, he probably meant. That's me. Vapex, what's up, man? People are finally showing up. You're late to the party. I already started. I turned off a green screen, so now you see it's green. Money! Green's color money. Green's also my dad's favorite color. I thought that was odd. Like, really? Green? He's like, oh, yeah, I love green. I'm like, why? There's way better colors than green, right? Don't you think? Anybody else's favorite color green? You know what my favorite color is? Ooh, that's a good trivia question. Might be used tomorrow during the giveaway. Orange. It's my favorite color. You know why? Cleveland Browns. Greatest football team ever. Going to the Super Bowl this year. I don't know if everybody told you that. All right, so let me get this back over here so I can see it. So, I don't ever get in a rush on these. You can if you, I mean, if you really want to bust through it, once you get your rhythm, you can really fly through them. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like if you keep a nice steady pace, that's all you really need to do. And it's a really good way to uh, to learn your drill, too. So it's getting tight again, so let me pinch it down. Some people do this like, I, oops, it's starting to come loose. I, you know what? I'm going to have to do a, I don't know why it's doing that. Let me just pinch it down a little bit. I've got, maybe it's, be, I don't know. I never had problems with it coming off the swivel, but maybe I'm just pulling on it harder than I used to. <laughs> I pull on things. Yeah, you know, pulling a little harder, giving it a tug. A little bit harder than I should. Pinch that down. Let's get this a little pinched on there. But I had the same problem when I was doing the alien the other day. I did the same thing. I was holding it was trying to come loose and it was weird. I, I never have that problem. But for some reason this time I do. If it does, I'll just retie it back on there. Alright, so I'm pretty much to my first closed pin here. So I'll take that. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And let's get this going here. So see, I got that angle and just hold it. Now, once I see, there it goes. So once I see it starting to clip, I just pull it out just a little bit further, which is hard. It's hard to like tell like how much you need to move it. Um, once I get a little bit further into it, I'll be, it'll be a lot easier. But uh, just move it just a little bit. Once you start clipping that that back of that uh, fuse or the back of the core, and you should be able to just roll right on. I was saying though, it's a really good way to get to know your drill doing these. And what I mean by that is the speed of the rotation, because you know, once you get your speed down, you can just you can just rip right through a, a fuse. Now. I don't know if you can see my hand, but my hand is going like a grandfather clock. It's going back and forth because my fuses are off. And that's fine. 
But there's a couple things you can do with that. One, you can just go back and forth, which I don't mind doing. I actually find it kind of cool. It's kind of challenging to do it that way, just go back. Because you're just basically kind of moving with the wire. And I, I like doing it. It doesn't bother me. But if you don't like it, and you just want to have, uh, you know, if, if it's a build you want to put on Instagram, you know, or, or showcase it, then you got to... you pretty much have to do that you're gonna to have to go with the with the fuse and just go back and forth but if this is something you're gonna vape just skip one skip a fuse straighten it back up every time it happens just skip a fuse and keep moving like say you're making a, a set of, hey bones how you doing man thanks for joining hey scott thanks for joining nick vapix um you know if you're making for a buddy you know and and you're trying to get through them and and you know it's starting to do this on you just just skip one slow the drill down skip one and straighten it back up, go again. Problem is that it will mess up again. I mean, ultimately, when you skip a fuse, it really is kind of pointless because you're going to have to do it again and again and again, all the way down the wire. Because what happens is, even when the wires are just, even when the fuse is off by a, just like a nanometer, right? Even when it's off by just the littlest bit, when you start pushing the fuse the the fuse over, everything's starting to shift with it. So by the time you get to the middle, right? By the time you get to the middle of a fuse, it's off. It's off. There's nothing you can do. Unless it's a machine doing it. You know what I mean? Where a machine is absolutely perfect. There's nothing you can do about it. So that's like a lot of times in your builds, if um, you know, for example, if you're doing it on a three millimeter, okay, and you know that you need one inch for for a uh, for your for a wrap around your jig, right? Sometimes you can be like, okay, well, how much farther do I have to go till I get to that one inch? When you get to that one inch, then skip one because you know it'll be in the back of the of the build, right? It'll be in the back of the coil, so you won't see it. Um, but you also have to remember that you have to have a half inch for your leads, okay? So half inch, then an inch, and then skip one, another inch, skip one, you know, skip two, skip three. It doesn't matter because you can't see it. It's in the back, right? So that's one thing you can do. I mean, I've done that before. I don't typically think that far ahead, but it's just something, it's just a piece of advice. Like if you've ever done hybrids, you know, that's how you do hybrids. Your transitions are at that inch, right? You transition from whatever you're doing to the other one, right? So. Hey, Juan. Thanks for joining, guys. Right in the middle of fusing this. Going pretty good so far. Oops, there's one I Speak of the devil, I missed art. Okay, let me get a hold of this a little better. It's really off. It's really, 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 really off. And that's another thing. When you use bigger gauge like fuse wire, when it's off, it's fucking off. Like I'm literally going, er, 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 er. but I don't like skipping them. Like I just, I don't know. I just don't like doing that. I don't like skipping them. Like it's like a game to me. Like I gotta get it. You know? <laughs> By the end, I'll be going like, it'll be the fuses will be like that. Like back and forth. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not skipping one. <laughs> All right, so we got about, looks like we got about an inch done so far. What time is it? Oh, we got plenty of time. Might even get a few stories at the end. What do you know? Let me tell you a few stories. Had a great day today. I worked from home today. I did a lot of working. In case anybody from work's watching, I did a lot of working today at home. Tremendous amount. Um, hey, David, how you doing, man? Um, a lot. Just an absolute, like, I probably worked as much as, as anybody, like, in the company today for my house. So, if, you, if, you're, if you're listening to this, boss, just know I deserve some kind of achievement award for today. Employee of the month. 
Can we start that up? I always try to get an employee of the month going at work. Nobody ever wants to do it. My last job, well, it wasn't my last job. It was the job before. I used to do employee of the month myself. Like, I wasn't a manager or nothing, but I would do the employee of the month every month. And I always did the same guy every time. So, like, on my, in my office, I had a, had a board. And uh, I would put p- pictures of, of this guy up. And it was, like, basically, like, January, February, March, April, May. And I had a picture of him every month. All the way down. Every month he was a play of the month. <laughs> he sucked, dude. He's awful. He was like the worst worker they had. Just like everybody's like, why is this guy? Why does this guy work with you? Or why does he do it? I'm like, I don't know. Why is he employee of the month? I was like, because he's awesome. You don't think he's awesome? You haven't seen him do like, you know? Did you see that provisioning order he did the other day? How good that was? I'm like, no, he completely blew it up. I was like, yeah, he did, but it wasn't his fault. Go ask him about it. Wasn't his fault. Employee of the month. And I found like a really good picture of him off his office. Back then it was MySpace. I went on his MySpace page. I found it. Found a picture of him. I fucking printed it out. And that was his his employee of the month picture. It was like him. It was like him for like ten of the months. And then be like, I throw somebody random in there, like one of the two months. No, and I made it like all official. Like I would send out an email to like the entire like entire company because it was a small company. It was like 200 people in the entire company. And I'd send out an email. I'd say, Employee of the Month voting is up. Please submit your vote for Employee of the Month. And I'd get a few responses. Like a few people like thought I was serious and would send back a response. And then I, I would like a, I would send out like an email. Like, like it'd be like January 5th. And I'd send an email out. And I'd say, Congratulations. Same guy. You're this month's Employee of the Month. Please take a minute to, to, th- to congratulate this guy. Yeah. I put up, they print a picture of him out and put it on the wall. Every month. I, you can ask my wife, is my wife still in chat? I've had, I don't know, I've had a gun, I've had a gun in my face twice in my life. Two times. Yeah. I had a shotgun in my face, dude. Like, in my face. In my, like, like I was laying down and dude was ever taught me the shotgun. And the reason I tell you that, because I've been, I've had two people at work tell me they're gonna kill me. Like I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, 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 not joking. Like you know, you run into somebody, one of your buddies, you're like, hey, I'm gonna kill you. Like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you, right? No, I've had a guy say, like, I'm gonna come into your house. I had this guy. Not he didn't say my house. He didn't say that. But I had a guy tell me that when he, this is how detailed he was about it. Okay, he told me that. When his daughter graduates from high school, she was like 16, 15, 16 at the time, that he was going to come into work. He's going to bring a gun. He didn't say gun. He, he was going to fucking shoot me. It's the day that she graduated, and he had to worry about it anymore. Sat there. It was just me and him in the room. It was like the weirdest thing ever. I just looked at him. I was like, well, that's not good. I don't want that. That's exactly what I don't want to happen. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was a big dude, too. I was kind of scared. I was like, damn. This guy's fucking, and he was fucking crazy. He was crazy, but not like, not like, you know, crazy, like jump on a counter at a bar and start fucking dancing and shit. Not that kind of crazy. Like, you pull him over, open his trunk, and he's got like six heads back there. That kind of crazy. You know what I mean? So, like, this guy's gonna fucking shoot me. Like, it led to, I came out and told my, my ex wife at the time, my ex wife, I told her straight out, like, this guy works, he's gonna shoot me. She's like, again? I was like, yeah, but I think he's, I think this guy's serious. She's like, what do you mean, serious? I kind of told him, hey, church, what's up? So I was like, I could fucking die. I might die. He might shoot me. <laughs> the shotgun stories. There's really no story behind that because it was so weird. Like, I don't even know why the guy did it. Um, like, I had an argument with him, and I was young. And, like, somehow we were in his house, and... I don't know. I don't remember saying anything bad, but next thing I know, he, like, knocked me down. I fell down. Next thing I know, there's a fucking shotgun, like, in my face, dude, like, that far away. I And I was fucking scared, man. I was like, holy. Like, it's very unnerving. Like, I don't care how cool you think you are. When somebody puts a fucking shotgun in your face, you ever seen anybody get shot with a shotgun? Like, even in the movies, dude, blows your fucking head off, blows it off. Like, a million pieces. Turns you into, like, a big stump. Your head. It's not cool. I didn't want that to happen at all. That was not what I was hoping was going to happen that day. But yeah, he didn't shoot me though. I think I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I didn't cry or nothing. But I was just like, dude, fucking get that thing out of my face, please. 
Like, I didn't want to grab it. Like, it's you want to grab it. You want to, like, move it? It's like, I didn't want to grab it. Because I was like, dude, you might fucking just, you know, pull one off on me. Yeah. That's my life, dude. My fucking life is pretty crazy. I got another guy. The stinky guy? He may, he may, he may try to kill me. He may. It's it, like, I'm going down that road again. So, remember me. Have a, have like a build off for me or something. Black cat build off in memory of black cat. Just have a picture on me like this. Or you can make the trophy for Coil Wars. Just make it this face right here. Like on the trophy. There you go. In memory. In memorial. Fallen soldier. Yeah. Probably going to get shot one day. I had a couple women I thought I would shoot me too. <laughs> you can ask my wife about that. She, well, I don't think my wife's going to shoot me. She'll just fucking stab me. She told me. She, she, I've thought about like. She might stab me. Stunk to death maybe. At least, I, at least I'll know he's coming. He won't be able to sneak up on me. Right? I'll smell him. I'm part of Indian. I don't know if I told you that. Native American. Yeah, he can't sneak up on me. I hear you. Real good. Yeah. yeah he'll sneak up, sneak up on me. But I'll get, I'll get a whiff and I'll move real quick. And there's one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have to do all this training at work. And uh, one of the trainings we have to do is, um, <laughs> is like, mass shooter. And I'm not joking about that because that's fucking awful. If you've ever been involved in anything like that, like, my heart goes out to you because that's fucking terrible, man. And you see that shit on TV. It just, it just breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart when you see, like, office shootings and shit like that. So, I, But, you know, um, I work with my best friend, and she uh, she's, like, she's handicapped. She has uh, – um, Anyway, she's handicapped, and uh, so she's really slow, and she, um, she, so, like, one day, we, we had to take the, the training, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and they're, like, you know, we're, like, discussing it, like, what to do during, like, this awful thing, and they were trying to keep it kind of light, because they were, like, you know, you're talking about somebody coming in and shooting, but they're, like, you know, this is what you need to do if this happens in the office, and I think, I think per insurance regulations, they have to do that, and I, I you know, so I'm, I'm assuming but uh, I remember I sitting next to my to my uh, to my best friend. They're like talking about it, and I was like, "Well, I was like, I know I'm not the slowest person here." And I just kind of went, looked at her, like, "You're fucking slower than I am. I'm fucking outrun you." <laughs> Sorry. I throw her over my shoulder and take her out, like platoon. You ever seen platoon? You ever seen that? They throw my shoulder and run out. That's what I do. I just grab her. Actually, I probably can do that because it hurt my back. I tried though. I got shot. Cause he'd probably be looking for me. Like I'm pretty sure. If a, if a workplace shooter comes in, like I'm on that list, like for sure. Like I don't care how long. If that list is like six people, like I'm I'm definitely like somewhere in the middle. I'm like number three. I may not be the one that he like looks for immediately, but like I would be the one that like he's looking for me. Like he's not, I'm not like I'm not one he's gonna be like go ahead and get out of here. He'd be like oh there you are motherfucker okay. Yeah. There's that. See, I lose my rhythm, and I start talking, and then I can't get it back. Thing. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch this down real nice and flat. I'm just going to move this one back a little bit. Because I'm getting it starting to want to come apart. I have to make the funniest faces when I do this. Because I'm like so concentrated. It's hard for me to see. Like my eyes start blurring. I don't know how anybody does it without without these goggles. I really don't. And, and if you do, God bless you, man. Because it is so hard to fucking... To, it, my eyes just seem to unfocus. That's the problem. It's not that I can't see it. It's just they unfocus. And that's why I tend to have to go slow. And, and I don't get in a rush with these because I actually... I don't mind... I'm not a... You know... 
I haven't done a stagger. Like, I really haven't done any, like, staggering or anything. I've just been doing, like, aliens and the... I did a couple, like, just two core. But I haven't really done anything more than that in a, in a bit. Just because I've just been kind of getting this YouTube thing up and things like that. <laughs> Best laugh all week. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that, dude. I like I like that me telling you stories about probably dying in a mass shooting is humorous. It is kind of funny. Like, and I I would honestly like as I was like running like through the hallways, you know, trying to get the fuck out of there because I'm lunatics and everything. Gone, I would be thinking to myself like, this is, I knew this is gonna how it's gonna end. I'd be like, I know it, I knew it. God damn it, damn it. But I'll tell you, like, if somebody comes in, okay, so I'll. Uh, if somebody ever comes into like a place like that and they're near me, I'm grabbing them. I don't care if they shoot me. I'm fucking grabbing them. Fuck them. I'm grabbing them. I would. I guarantee I would. Like that one, that one in Colorado when that guy came to that movie theater. If I, I always sit, like when I go to movie theaters, you can ask anybody I know. I always sit on the end of the aisle. Always. I can't sit. I can't sit in. And uh, I always say, if somebody comes in there with a gun, I'll fucking grab them. I guarantee it. I don't care. Not that I'm brave or anything, but I just know I would. I know, I know for sure I would. It's funny, like me looking up like this. Isn't that funny? I think it's gra I'd grab because I'm stupid. I just don't think about things before I do it. So I just be like, hey! I don't know if I should just skip one. I mean, it, it's getting pretty bad. I just hate doing that. So I got money. All right, let's get to this. So I got about an inch and a half. That's what I hope she did not say that, but that could be what she said. And you have to, you have to like sometimes, like especially when I was on Instagram. Sometimes I get into like, um, hey boy, how you doing, man? Aaron, Anton, how you doing? Um, sometimes when I get into uh, into the rhythm, like I I shut up and I just go. And sometimes I do that on these. Like even when I'm on Instagram, like I would I would be working and not talking, just so I could bust it out and get it done. Um, so if I like shut up and don't say anything for a while, I'm just trying to get it done. So I'm trying to do like like maybe like almost two thirds like two thirds of an inch or like half an inch every time before I stop. But I had to kind of concentrate because I, I literally, my eyes start blurring. I don't concentrate. But I'm telling you, once you get this, especially a three core, it's such a nice vape. Just a touch. So today's the last day to get your entry in. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna put an entry in for the contest for the, uh, the for the bottom feeder, bottom feed squonker. Today's your last day. Oh, that's funny, bull. 
That's messed up. So if you want to do the if you want the bottom feeder, uh, Paul Squonk, which I really want. Um, so I hope that well, there's like, dude. I checked today. There's 40 entries. So thank you guys. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, we're gonna give that away tomorrow. Uh, I'll find out with Don. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what Adore E Liquid we're gonna give out, but uh, I'm sure there'll be some of that. And um, yeah, and you know, free Thursdays are fun. I gotta think of a game to play though. I gotta think of a game because I don't like just giving away our numbers. Like I will do that. One of them will be, but one of them's got to be something kind of fun. You know what I mean? Like trivia question thing was fun. I just don't have time to go back and watch my videos to make questions. Although they are my, they're my life. You know, I try to remember my stories because it's my life. I just forget what I what I tell and don't tell. You ever do that? Tell a story and then you forget you told it. So I got to you like about a week later. I'll be like, hey, you know, remember that? I'll be like, I'm not telling you that. I didn't tell you that, did I? And they'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, fuck. I didn't mean to tell you that. Sorry. Forget that story, dude. I didn't mean to tell you that. Was I drunk? That's why I used to I was drunk all the time. Tell people shit and then forget I told them. You know? <laughs> Fucking awful. People come to you like when you're like, and I was always drunk. So people come to you like talk to you about something. I'll be like, fuck, dude. I don't remember telling you that. Like, yeah, you did. You told me that uh, last Thursday. You don't remember? I'll be like, dude, I. I don't remember 2017. Last Thursday. What are you talking about? I don't remember this whole year. Yeah? You ever forget a whole year? You ever forget a whole one? Like, you're just like, what did I do? What year is this? Like, I, I would go fill things out. Like, I remember one time I was, like, at the bank. Like, I had to fill something out. I put down, like, 2014. They're like, sir, it's 2016. I was like, what? They're like, yeah, 2016. I was like, huh, are you sure? You wait a minute. You're fucking with me, right? It was 2016. I even looked on his, he had a fucking calendar right there. Looked at it. 2016. Yeah. Fuck not knowing what month it was, dude. I didn't know what fucking year it was. I was like, well, all right. Where do I sign? <laughs> Give me my fucking money. Sad. It's really sad, actually. Daggone it. Okay. So I skipped one. And you see when I skipped one how much easier it is? I'm just like flying through it now. So I skipped one just to get it back. It's about an inch in, so I'm good. Or about an inch and a half in. starting to collapse a little bit on me so let's tighten this up and you'll be battling that the whole way three four if you do anything more than a two core it's always going to want to try to collapse on you a little bit just because you're putting a little pressure on it with your fuse just got to stop and pinch it back down this one off another thing I try to do which is a good idea is when you're not using something 
Hey, Freddy, what's up? Yeah, I went on like a 10 till 10 till 5. I, I'm telling you, I don't think notifications went out. Because there's only like three people in here when I started. Um, maybe it's because maybe it's because I went live already today. I don't know. But uh, it's been a pretty good, pretty good live so far. That's two inches. So I got basically I'm halfway done. I eh, I got an inch and a half more. I got thir 29 minutes. I should be able to knock that out. Let's just, let's just speed through it real quick. I think that, you know what, I just realized something. It's not so much that I can't see it, it's that the muscles in my eyes don't adjust quick enough for me to see it when it's moving. That's my problem, is I can actually see it, no problem. Like, if I just look at it, but with the motion brought into it, my eyes aren't, the muscles in my eyes don't adjust quick enough. <sighs> Gotta make a binary. I don't, I don't mind binaries. I don't mind them. I don't mind anything with Corgate. I don't think it's how, I don't know. It's just it's just you're just staggering, you know. But you're probably gonna do it with like forty, aren't you? Yeah, that's tough. Anything with forty takes forever. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Even instead of like staggers, staple stagger fuse Clapton's forty gauge fucking is all pain in the ass. All right, let's go here. Gosh darn it. Losing my concentration. Move that down just a touch. This one. Move this down just a little bit. Is that there? I got it in there good. Yeah. Down. 
Nylon pliers are the best. I'm telling you. If you're going to work... Uh-oh. There she is. She's back. I've been trolled on my wife. Lord. Oh, no. Now Chris is talking. Honey, don't talk to him. Don't talk to Chris. I'll put Chris in timeout. Quick. I can't put my wife in timeout. Because that will be... Hey, Doug. How you doing, man? Don't talk to him. Veronica. Don't talk to Chris. Whatever you do, don't do that. It's a bad move. Whoops. I always thought it was weird, like, and I, I do this with Nick, too, like, I don't mind watching Nick fuse something. It's kind of weird. Because it's really boring. Because it's hard to talk and do it. Like, I don't know if, it, I don't know if you ever tried it. <sighs> it's jeweler's, it's jeweler's hand. I don't know. I I, I think I, need, I I'm not very comfortable right now with all chats all chat situation. Not very comfortable with it. Little bit uncomfortable, especially with Chris in here. God only knows. I did look like a stoner this class. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Can I take your order, please? <laughs> uh. See, like right here, and when I'm doing this, so I got about, I don't know, two and a half inches done. Like right here is where I'd be like, eh, I need a break. I was going to do something else because, like, I get so bored staggering. Like, it, I like it at the beginning, and then I, like, uh, like it, it, it's not, like, fun anymore. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? Bubbles, that's right. Bubbles for Trailer Park Boys. Thought you were working, honey. Aren't you working? I've been trying to get my wife to come down here and be on the show. She's actually really funny. She'd be funny on here. You guys will like her. She's not funny as me, you know, but she's funny. It's hard to be as funny as me. I'm a funny fucking guy. That's right. Head's starting to hurt. Fucking stupid staggering. Hate it. <laughs> Hate doing stagger builds. I'd rather just, I just want to do aliens. That's all I want to do. I just want to make aliens. I, do, I swear to God. So, what is that? That's about two... God, that's got to be close to three inches. Yeah, three inches on the nose. So, got about a half inch more. And we'll cut it. And then I'll use that last half as just a lead. I mean, I'll do a little bit more over three. If I get close.
back. <sighs> hey, Raja, how you doing, man? See, this is where it's cool to have music. Cause it's really hard to do this in dead silence. It really is. Once you go for aliens, you never go back. I'm telling you, try some of these twenty-seven gauge nichrome, twenty-seven thirty-six nichrome ninety uh, um, aliens. I bet y'all change your mind. I guarantee. I, maybe not, but I changed mine. Once you get that rhythm, it's it's so nice. That's typically where I get it, like right about the middle of my build. I start getting the rhythm. You know, like Gloria F like Gloria Estefan said, the rhythm is gonna get you. Remember that song? Rhythm is gonna get you. The rhythm is gonna get you. Rhythm is gonna Miami Sound Machine, that's the name of a band. You guys remember that? I remember it. I remember thinking like Gloria Stavon was kind of hot, like in a weird way. Like she wasn't like dropped like super hot, but the rhythm got me. That's for damn sure. Like when she started singing, the rhythm got me. They had some keyboards in it. Remember that? The rhythm got me. So when the rhythm gets you, there's nothing you can do. You just gotta go. You know what I mean? You can't just fight it. It's hard to fight the rhythm. Rhythm takes no prisoners. Rhythm, rhythm can be a dick. All right, so we're about ready to wind this up, and then I can do the talk about the contest for tomorrow.
All right, I think that should. That's probably about four inches. Yep, four exactly. How crazy is that? Measure it twice or three times. I need the. I need the length. I'm getting really good at um at figuring out the length of things, like down to the inch now. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's cut this here, and we'll cut it right here, right past my cut my wire. I'm just gonna take my. Flatten my cores out. All right. There we go. It doesn't, you know, it really, I'll, I'll tell you, for the, for the quality of vape you get with a, with a, a stagger build, it's really worth it. I mean, what did that take a half hour to, to do? You know, I mean, it's not, well, it took a little longer than that, but I was talking like if you, if you had music and you were just going, there's no reason you can't do like maybe, maybe take an hour to do two, you know, I mean, probably even faster if, if your fuses are like mine were really off. My, my staggering was not like, wasn't matching up. So probably if I would have like actually like really taken a look at it and like, and done a little bit better on my prep, I probably only took me like maybe 40 minutes to do two. You know, instead of, instead of 40 minutes to do one. All right, put this back in here. All right, so that's that. Okay, so let me get this stuff put away here, and then we'll talk about the remainder of the contest for tomorrow. Um, for the bottom fill, Paul Squonk. That was uh, donated to us by Josh Rhodes. I don't know if Josh is in here. Um, but fucking awesome guy. Uh, just wants to help the channel out and, um, was kind enough to donate something to us. And, uh, yeah, so this is really awesome. So if you don't know him, follow him on Instagram. Uh, it's, it's Abel's Joshua's 35, I believe, or 95. Um, I'll put it in the comments tomorrow with the, with the, uh, thought you're going to sing to us. I can. I like to sing. I sing all the time. That's my wife. I sing all the time. All the time. I put headphones on saying She tapes me singing, thinks I get embarrassed. Nah. Go to good karaoke. I'll fucking sing. I typically start it off like, I don't, do, I don't go to karaoke because I can't go to bars anymore. But I used to go to bars all the time. But believe it or not, when I'm an alcoholic, I fucking sing. I don't care. I'll sing. I'll fucking sing a lot. You'd like it too. I would start out with Baby Got Back. That's usually my warm up. Kind of get my voice going. Little Baby Got Back by Sir Mix a lot. Heard that song? It's a good one. You should hear it. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Pretty new or pretty old, but uh, pretty popular too. I start with that. Get all the ladies. I guess the ladies going. Ladies like that song, especially if they're a little. You know, they have a little cushion for the pushing. They like to get them and shake it to that. I've had women on tables dancing. Yeah, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Whoosh. <laughs> this green screen's awful. When it's turned off, it looks fucking stupid. And it, like this, this side over here. I gotta do something about that. That that's what's causing all my problems with the static and stuff. Like that's causing all the problems. Like I need to turn it this way. Like I need to talk to you like that. That's what I need to do. I can turn it back on. I'll turn it back on. Hold on. I'll turn it back on. I still got ten minutes. I still got ten minutes to talk. We gotta talk about the contest. Hold on, I'll turn it back on. I people who watch my replays are probably like, why is this guy such a dickhead? Why is he doing? Why is he like not do any? Why? Why is it just? Why is everything so awful? All right, forty six, eighty six, one hundred minus twenty two, two and minus three. There we go. How's that look? Ooh, I'm a little, I'm a little spaced out. Hold on, a little spacey. Let's see, right there's perfect. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm a little spacey, but I'm all right. I'm hanging in there. Let's see if I turn this out, does it make it better? Huh? 
story time with Scott. I don't really have any of those stories. I told you a story about me wanting to shoot me. Like, you know what? I don't know, man. I just got that personality that, like, people just, they, they get mad at me. I don't I don't mean to, I don't want them to get mad at me. You know? I think I'm pretty easy going about things for, for the most part. You know? People get mad. Like, and I, I try to, I, I, I think it's because I'm kind of a, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of smart ass about things. And uh, people get mad about that. They don't. They don't like. They don't like people talking to them. You know. And but I don't. I don't know. I try not to do that anymore as I've matured. I try not to be. I try not to be a smart ass. You know. But sometimes it's funny, and I'll say something, and I'll be like, I probably should have said that. But uh, it's funny to me. I think it's a gray. I think it's a gray that's making it disappear. <sighs> Maybe. All right. So contest. Oh my god! Okay, the contest. So there's like 40 entries, okay, and there's somebody that is there's somebody that I, I think is going to win. But tomorrow, I am going to sit down before I come home from my job. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to go over all the contestants, all the entries again. Um, I'm going to look at my hashtag, a black cat, black cat fam, and I'm going to go through one by one. And I will pick a winner tomorrow. Okay, I will announce the winner tomorrow. Now we'll probably do the contest, uh, do like a giveaway contest first, and then um, we'll probably do uh, maybe maybe we'll do one more contest. Like I gotta talk to uh, there's Josh. Josh is the guy I was talking about. Um, Josh can't win. He entered twice. Like dude, you can't win your you can't win your own thing, dude. What's that all about? <laughs> this was funny though. Freddy's was funny. Raj was funny. They're all funny. They're all funny. I don't. Thomas, I don't know if I. I don't know who you are on there. But uh, there, it, there's all. They're all. They're all pretty funny. So, and then tomorrow we got a uh, couple juice giveaways. Um, and uh, and yeah, it'll be fun. We'll make it fun. I'll try to. I'll try to think of a contest to do. Like, I don't know. I'm, my brain doesn't work that great, so I'll probably think of something really dumb. But uh, we'll make it fun. We'll do it like, you know. We talk to Dawn and figure out exactly what uh, what she wants to do. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so this week was Staggers. Um, next week, maybe we'll do Sukas. I could do like an alien Suka, and I could do like a regular Suka. Um, we could do corrugated next week. Oh, I know what I want to do next week. Okay. Now, before we do any of those, I want to do uh, something with ribbon in it. So um, maybe we'll do a Fralian. That way we incorporate the alien and the ribbon. Um, but I want to show you, like, my technique for stacking ribbon and things like that works really, really well. Um, and I want to pass that on, you know, if you guys are, you know. And, and I know a lot of these are probably pretty basic, but. You know, you may pick up one or two things here and there, and, and I may pick up one or two things from you in the chat when I read it. You know, so just we'll just do it and see how it works out, and you know, hopefully it uh, hopefully it's beneficial to everybody. You know what I mean? So we'll do that. So we'll probably do a staggered and or uh, excuse me, we'll probably do a um, friendly next week, um, and we'll, Monday we'll do the uh, we'll do how to stack ribbon. That's what we're going to do Monday. Is a uh, really effective way to stack ribbon and keep it together. So that's what that's what that will be. I think I already lost my coil that I made. Did anybody see where I put it? Did anybody see where I think I bought I put it somewhere. I lose things like I literally I'm losing my mind. Like I'm senile. Oh there it is, right here. It's right there. Pretty badass. Nice little pre course dagger. Bust it out what you can do when you build man you can vape fantastic coils you can i mean anything you want right here palm of your hand you know like i just put the time put the effort forth you know watch people do it talk to people who do it learn how to do it yourself it's not that hard um honestly like after watching the first two weeks of this i don't see you know you should be able to do a, if, if you're having trouble with aliens you should at least be close you know but you got to practice and then with the stagger builds stagger builds are really just a process you know um that's all stagger build is you know you get the process down your prep down and all that once you got all that down that's it man i mean get it on the drill and and and, and start fusing it 
Keep your core straight. I'm telling you, those little clothespins will work. All right, so that's it for today. Well, I'm over an hour, or so I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, I will see you tomorrow, five o'clock, and we will uh, do a little party and a little giveaways. So everybody, if you haven't entered into the uh, caption contest, get your caption up tonight so I can see it. Uh, if you put them in tomorrow, like I'm, I'll probably look at them at like noon or one, like after I eat or whatever. I'm relaxing. I'll look at them. So if you get them in like right before the show, I probably won't see it. You know, so you probably won't have a chance of winning. So you want to do one? Just take that stupid picture and put a fun, something funny on it and post it. All right, all right, guys. Love you guys. I will see you tomorrow at five on vaping at five with Black Cat, aka.